Picture this. It's Friday night at 5 p.m. in the year 2027, and you're ready for a date night with your significant other. But you need a car to get there. You check the garage and your car is not at home. It's been out earning you money, giving rides to other people on autopilot. Your total for the day, between what the network pays you, ad revenue inside your car and affiliate deals, $300. Enough to pay for dinner, drinks and dessert at your favorite five-star restaurant. Your car doesn't cost you money anymore, it makes you money. After you summon it on your phone, it drives itself straight to your front door to pick you up. You get in the car and tap a button on your phone to darken the windows. The restaurant is, after all, an hour away. You don't live in the city anymore, but it's still fun to go in. And besides, you can barely tell you're in a car. There's no steering wheel, no gas, and no brake. Just seats facing each other with a table in the middle and a screen on the wall. You spend the ride having a drink and looking into your date's eyes, like you're at the restaurant already. Either that or you watch your favorite show on Netflix or catch up on your reading. Heck, you can even take a nap if you want. What? After dinner, your car drops you off at home and you send it back out for a couple late night rides. After all, you're saving up for that dream vacation next March. This scenario might sound like science fiction, but it's closer than you might think. In fact, it's practically knocking on your front door. And that's not the only thing that's going to be different. Self-driving cars will fundamentally change the way society looks in 10 ways you might not expect. Let's get into it. We are on the cusp of an entirely new world. AI generated media, deep fakes and elections determined by algorithms. Gene editing, life extension and designer babies. Millions of jobs being totally destroyed while more billionaires are being created than ever before. This series gives you the red pill when it comes to work, technology, psychology, and lifestyle design. Learn how to hack your biology, fall in love, beat AI, and make more money than you thought possible. And do it all with a smile on your face. So you can take the blue pill, keep doing what you've been doing, and get left behind. Or subscribe right now and like and share this video to take the red pill and see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Today in San Francisco, Phoenix, Arizona, Arlington, Texas, Stockholm, Sweden, Paris, France, and Toronto, Canada, you can already summon a self-driving car or trolley and take it to your destination. Sure, there's still a steering wheel in some of these and it's not quite as magical as what you just saw, but it's not far off and it's going to fundamentally change the way society works for the better, or if you're a skeptic, for worse. Chapter one, earn money from your car. Some of you who have Airbnb'd your homes during holiday weekends or special events can already relate to using your personal assets to earn money. In my hometown, my friends rent out their home for football weekends and often pay for their mortgage for the next three months by giving up one weekend. But eventually, they don't wanna move out of their homes every Friday morning. But cars are different. You'll be able to rent out your self-driving car anytime you don't need it. If you decide you need to go to the dentist at 12 p.m., Simply open up your Tesla app and schedule your own car to pick you up at 11.30 a.m. Or let your car keep earning money and rent someone else's car. If you go to the movies for two hours, you can have your car drop you off and go earn some money while you watch the latest Marvel film. But just like you no longer own your vacation home because you can rent one on Airbnb, most people will likely choose not to own cars. Large companies will own huge fleets and small entrepreneurs will build up their own mini collections. Elon Musk estimates you can earn 65 cents a mile or $30,000 a year from a basic Model 3. But premium rides, ad revenue and affiliate deals could add up to much more once the world figures out how to monetize self-driving taxi fleets. Let's just hope they don't become the real world versions of online ad saturation. Chapter two, entire business models will die out. Look around any city and what do you see? Parking lots for miles and miles. Our car has to park somewhere when we're inside our latest hipster cafe drinking espresso. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti, yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. No, venti is 20. We're seeing our favorite comedian touring through our city. 
But with self-driving cars, that somewhere that car has to go is to work, to make you money. The car doesn't need to park anymore. In fact, it could stay out 24 seven giving rides. Although I'm not sure you want the rides that happen at three in the morning. One thing is for certain, central parking in the heart of downtown isn't needed. Running into the store, just have your car circle the block for five minutes and then pick you up. Staying all day, your car can go park in the suburbs and charge up if needed. With no revenue coming in, these parking lot owners will need to monetize somehow and might just end up throwing in the towel and selling to a builder, which means more residential units downtown. The same thing will happen to gas stations, consumer car washes, auto parts stores, and more. That's not all. With less and less car owners and an AI driving instead of distracted humans texting their boo and watching TikTok videos, we don't need insurance. Currently 40,000 people a year die from auto accidents alone, just in the US. Most of these deaths and accidents can be eliminated with AI, which means car insurance could shrink by 60% by the year 2040. I'm pretty sure none of us will shed a tear for that. But there is one small void to fill. About 13% of organs made available for donations in recent years came from people who died in car crashes. When driverless cars are the norm and few people are dying on the road, there may be a shortage of hearts, livers, and other donor organs. Subscribe to this channel right now to learn in an upcoming video how those organs might be grown in a lab instead. Chapter three, even more changes to the economy. Did you know that 80% of freight in the US is transported less than 250 miles, which is about the average range on a self-driving electric truck? According to Fortune Magazine, 90% of trucking may soon be self-driving. Daimler, Waymo, Tesla, they all have trucks in the works. Trucks that can drive 24 seven. They don't need sleep to use the bathroom or to take vacations. With 3.36 million truckers in the US, that's a lot of lost jobs. The same goes for taxi drivers, delivery drivers, and transporters. A drive. Rule one. Never change the deal. Yeah, well this is a new deal. These will all go the way of a switchboard operator. A job you know used to exist, but don't hear about aside from classic movies. We'll even have self-driving garbage trucks which could mean millions of jobs lost. But don't worry, where jobs are lost, they are created. The internet created 2.6 jobs for every one lost. And we don't lament those old jobs now. No one really thinks we should go back to having encyclopedia salesmen go door to door. But in the moment, I'm sure there was some resistance around the millions of jobs the internet destroyed. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you, I'm out. The same goes for transportation. And at least according to one site, 15 to 20 jobs could be created for every job lost. I'm talking about remote operators, logistics experts, customer service reps, loading the trucks, checking the sensors, and everything else that actually had to happen to successfully move freight. And who do you think is gonna clean the cars every night after they're out at work? Daily service centers will pop up everywhere where your car stops in every night after work to get cleaned, the tires pumped up, check for damage and tune up. And how about IT security to keep hackers out? Remodeling companies who specialize in turning your garage into a home gym or premium theater now that you don't need it anymore. Food services who stock your car with your exact order before it picks you up, just like they stock an airplane before it takes off. Not only that, we're gonna see technology companies take the share of profits, forcing small players and bloated union driven incumbents who can't keep up out of business. When Amazon brings delivery completely in-house, it might just be the nail in the coffin, which isn't that far off. For better or worse, this will create an oligopoly in transportation like Facebook and Google have on media right now. Chapter four, move unpaid time to paid time. Like the washing machine and dishwasher allowed women to break out of being homemakers and actually moved women into the workforce. The self-driving car will allow the commuter to break out of being bored out of their mind. Maybe New Yorkers who take the train already know what this feels like to not have to pay attention to your commute, but for the rest of us in bumper to bumper traffic, this is an entirely new feeling. You could write the great American novel, finish your homework for college, or even take a Zoom call and make your first sale of the day. A, B, C, A 
Always BBC closing. Always be closing. All while commuting to the office. One thing is certain, you will have more productive time in the day or leisure time. Time that you can do whatever you want with. But we'll find out if you haven't written your novel because your commute eats up too much time or you just have ADD from watching too much TikTok. Chapter five, no traffic and live anywhere. Cars are parked, meaning not operational 95% of the time. That means when the car is put to work, we'll only need about 10% of the cars to satisfy demand because they'll be moving close to 100% of the time. And that means no traffic, fewer cars, and more sharing. What used to take two hours in LA rush hour traffic might only take 10 minutes. What took four hours might now take one. While some skeptics think that people will drive so much more when they don't have to steer themselves, that there will actually be more cars on the road, I'm not at all convinced. Besides, just one human driver slamming in the brakes can affect thousands of cars and the flow of traffic during rush hour. AI will allow self-driving swarms to perfectly coordinate together, like a school of fish or Vietnamese motorbike traffic. You can now live anywhere you want without worrying about traffic or your commute. As the ability to work from anywhere opens up more and more, cities will disperse and we'll see even greater urban sprawl. Without a great need to live centrally, real estate values will plummet in the city and grow outside of it. We saw some of this during the pandemic, but autonomous transportation is the great equalizer. The old saying, location, 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 won't matter as much as it used to, and home prices will level out between the cities and the suburbs. Chapter six, businesses come to you. With driverless cars, everything will be on demand. Like a lot of things, this already exists in Asia. In Southeast Asia, you can get a man on a motorbike to bring you anything in 15 minutes or less. I'm talking about a trip to the hardware store to get a new blender, a cocktail dress from across town, or even your friend delivered on the back of a motorbike. All for less than a dollar. Driverless cars will bring the same low cost delivery to the West. Get anything at any time, anywhere. Walk outside and your delivery car will open up a sliding door with that cupcake you just had to have at 11 p.m. after the kids fell asleep. With no human driver to pay, 100% utilization rate on vehicles and cheap energy, whether it's your kid being delivered to your ex-wife's house or that spare part you need to fix your AC, the world will become even more on demand than it already is. Don't be surprised when you start to see these little delivery cars on the side of the road everywhere you go. Neuro is already delivering groceries in six zip codes and prescriptions from CVS. Their pilot program is about to expand to include Domino's Pizza and Walmart, and they're using their cars to distribute medical supplies. Chapter seven, car and battery waste. You ever see those massive piles of old electronics? Yeah, now imagine that with cars. It's already happening, but 90% of cars will be taken off the road. Luckily, there's a decent recycling industry around dismantling cars and selling off parts. And no, I'm not talking about when you go downtown and you come back to your car with no wheels. But that's not the big challenge when it comes to self-driving electric cars. It's recycling old batteries. Extracting the valuable materials from an EV battery is difficult and expensive. But the harder part is getting dead batteries to the facilities where they meet their demise. About 40% of the overall cost of recycling is transportation. EV battery packs are so massive that they need to be shipped by truck, not on an airplane, in specially designed cases, often across vast differences to reach recycling facilities. The journey is so labor and resource intensive that it generally exceeds the cost of digging up new materials from the ground. Like any new challenge, new solutions will arise, but for now, the recycling industry around batteries doesn't look good. And lastly, for changes autonomous vehicles will make to the world, it will soon become illegal to drive. But first, a word from our sponsors. Did you know that some luxury bed testers make more money than you do? If you're trying to make money online, start an online business, or create passive income, you have to understand how this is possible. 
In fact, give me 45 seconds and I'll explain how you can take a skill that we all have and use it to make more than someone with a master's degree. And no, I'm not going to suggest that you test luxury beds for a living. Here's the deal. Who you do something for determines how much you get paid, not what you do. Let's take a skill we all have. I mean, if you can make a social media post, which I know we all can, then you can get results like these people on the left, getting paying clients worth $1,000, $2,000, or even $5,000 a month each, paying them every single month. See this simple post? $9,000 a month. One image, two lines of text, and a simple three-page website by posting on social media for the right clients. That's why a luxury bed tester can get paid more than you do at your day job. They're doing the job for the right person. Did I mention I did this while on vacation in Argentina, Morocco, and Thailand? Yeah, the cool thing about this is that you can work from anywhere. Just click through and check it out before we take it down. We don't want too many people finding out about this or before you know it, everyone is going to take all the good clients. I will see you inside. Chapter nine, it will become illegal to drive. Okay, I'm not sure this one will happen, but just think about it. If you could outlaw something that kills 40,000 people a year, do you think it would happen? Well, now that I think about it, guns kill 45,222 people a year with more than half being suicides. Alcohol kills 95,000 people a year in the US. Even worse, pharmaceuticals prescribed kill 128,000 people a year and cigarettes, worst of all, kill around 500,000 people a year in the US alone. And all of those are still legal. So I take this one back. But at the very least, it will become politically contentious, like the issues above. So expect to have some drunk arguments with your uncle over Thanksgiving dinner on this one. <sighs> Chapter 10, self-driving drones. My girlfriend often brings up the fact that I bought my house because it's a straight shot to Denver by way of the crow, and I can commute downtown quickly in my self-driving drone. It is, I can see downtown, and I think one day this will make it an easy commute. And okay, I may have been reading the future is faster than you think when I bought it, but I still think we'll see driverless AI drones within the next decade. They already exist, it's just a matter of making them work at scale. As the saying goes, the future is already here, you just can't afford it yet. Let me know in the comments, are you excited for self-driving or worried about it? Do you think manual driving will become illegal? Which one of these is surprising and what do you want to see next? And be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and share this with a friend so we can make more free videos.